Hi, and welcome to Morning Afterglow. Last Sunday morning, we went to Ephesians chapter 3, verses 18 and 19, where Paul finishes out the prayer that he began uh, talking about just verses earlier. He has prayed that the, that the Lord would bless the Ephesians with strength uh, by His grace through the Holy Spirit in their inner man or souls. Uh, and now he says, he prays that they would comprehend uh, the length and breadth and depth and height uh, and all that pertains to the love of Christ, which is really beyond comprehension, that they might be filled with the fullness of, of God. I'm stunned by what Paul prays for here. And I learn from what he prays for, how to pray for myself and for those for whom I'm praying. You and I, as believers, need to comprehend, we need to understand, and we need to experience the love of Christ for us. Do you know the love of Christ? Now, I'm not just asking you if you intellectually know about the love of Christ or whether you know scriptures that talk about the love of Christ. Certainly, those things are important. But do you understand? Do you feel it? Has has the love of Christ gripped you? Does it grip you day after day after day? And when you come to a hard point in your life, do you think about the love of Christ? The love of Christ is an ocean of truth that is greater than all of our reality. You and I cannot go through anything, Christian friend, that is equal to or greater than the love of Christ. The love of Christ is the greatest thing in our lives. We are Christians. We are saved because of the love of Christ. And I think it's important that we remember that, especially when our hearts ache and when we struggle. Remember that Christ loved us so much that he gave himself for us, that God demonstrated his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He suffered and died for us because of love. And I hope that will encourage you and strengthen you and bless you and help you along the, your way. If you want to hear the whole sermon, go to fbcfenton.net and you can access the sermons there. God bless you. I pray you'll have a great day and a great week. And I hope and pray that you'll remember Christ's love for you. We'll see you next time in Morning Afterglow.